chapter five. Six little sailor boys playing with a high. A bumblebee stung one, and then there were five. My compliments to Miss Claythorne and Mr. Bloor for breakfast. We have to eat to keep our strength up. I'm a domestic sort of man. I don't mind. Since it is now certain the killer is following the rhyme over the fireplace in the front parlour, our course is clear. Miss Brent, you have an allergy to bee stings. The next little sailor boy is meant to lose his life in the same way. We will do our utmost to protect you. I have something I'd like to say since Mr. Owen is undoubtedly here in this room keeping his strength up. The others may have done what your recording claimed, but I am not guilty of anything. Beatrice Taylor died of her own sins, not by my hand. I feel certain you now see you were in error when you invited me here to face your judgment. That's a nervy speech if you ask me. I was just doing my job. Miss Brent, you cannot assume Owen is behaving rationally in any way. If you'd seen what he did to Rogers. Doctor, I will thank you to keep your opinions to yourself. Coming from the bottom of a bottle as they do, they are worse than useless. How dare you! I'm sure Mr. Owen and I understand one another. I'm going to collect my knitting. I'll be on the front patio if anyone needs me. I can't see anyone needing that woman, ever. If you'll excuse me, I'll just go up to my room and fresh... That is to say... I must say, Mr. Narricot, I'm disappointed. Four dead now. My confidence in you seems to have been misplaced. I may have to take more direct action. There's been a murder. Surely I should use this time to thoroughly search for clues. Six little sailor boys. This is getting worrisome. You had no right to speak to me that way at breakfast. Didn't I? It's still morning and you're drunk already. Thanks to you. Doctor, as you yourself must know, blaming others for one's own faults is a favorite trick of the alcoholic. You cloak yourself in religion, but you're the most unchristian woman I've ever met. You're a devil, a devil, do you hear me? I'm certain everyone can hear you, Doctor. Eavesdropping is impolite, Mr. Narricot, but under the circumstances, I'm glad you overheard. Enjoying the break in the weather, Miss Brent. This island has only two types of weather, gloomy and slightly less gloomy. I am taking advantage of this brief, slightly less respite. You were pretty hard on Dr. Armstrong. No more than he deserved. I only wonder that he didn't kill more people operating drunk than that one woman Owen mentioned. Cleese, was it? Armstrong was trying to help you at breakfast. I do not require his help, or yours. The Lord is mindful of his own. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror at night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. You are the next logical victim, Miss Brent. I disagree. Owen's bee sting might be many things. One of my knitting needles, perhaps. Even a hypodermic needle. I suspect the doctor has one of those in his medical bag. Besides, I'm confident that the angel of death will pass me over. Anything else that might be important? I can't vouch for its importance, but something rather annoying has happened. What? Someone has taken my grey wool. All of it. I won't be able to finish this shawl without it. Thank you, Miss Brent. moods are as changeable as the weather. You keep away from her. Relax, old boy. For some reason, the lady seems to prefer you. I seem to have underestimated you. I wonder if Owen has too. Are you okay, Vera? 
Yes, I'm fine. I just don't know who to trust. You shouldn't trust anyone. Oh, Patrick. Seems so obvious in retrospect. There, back to their original state. Et voilà. Seems so obvious in retrospect. There. The bees are now fast asleep. All quite drowsy, anyhow. I should have thought of that sooner. Excellent. Like hand in glove. They look hungry. This thicket is rife with thorns. I can't get through it. They ate right through the thicket, thorns and all. I think I can see a blinking red light off in the distance, but I can't be sure. Sunflowers. Odd. It doesn't seem like this island gets much in the way of sun. what these houses were used for before they were left to rot.
Fishing line? Yes, that would be strong enough to sew the silk sheets together. Can't be much fun playing alone. The doctor seems uninterested in snooker at the moment. Besides, I find the game relaxes me. I can think more clearly. I'm sorry you think I let you down. Not at all, my boy. My criticism was for Mr. Owen's benefit. I see no reason to put all of my eggs in one basket, then show the contents of that basket to him. I'm working along several lines at the moment. I'll give you a game. I'd rather continue on my own if you don't mind. Besides, you have more important things to do, I'm sure, than knock a few balls into holes. Do you have any suggestions for me? It's the first decent weather we've had since yesterday morning. I'd take advantage of that to signal the mainland or try and escape the island. Thank you kindly, Judge. Ah, the movies. Film is running, but nothing's being projected. Locked. I can't see anything of interest. There's a film reel and a handwritten note in here. Let me examine this further. There's a card and a film reel in here. This bears a closer look. Interesting film. I can't make heads nor tails of it. The film has been spooled. Looked like a home movie of some sort. Gabrielle Steele film? No thanks, I'd rather not watch that tripe. A Gabrielle Steele film? No thanks, I'd rather not watch that tripe. Ah! The movies! Hmm. Last of the Borgias, starring Gabrielle Steele. Never had the pleasure. The Queen's Handmaiden. Gabrielle Steele. 
I find her style slightly histrionic. Ah, the movies! Hmm, this is certainly a clue of some sort. I wonder what that was all about. Go away, please. I don't want to talk to anyone. How is the parachute coming along? It's done, Mr. Narricott. Good day, Miss Brent. Let's hope that holds. The cliff is surely the highest point on the island. I have nothing more to say to her. I can't say I'm ecstatic about this enterprise, but here goes nothing! I didn't even come close to the mainland. Lucky that buoy was out there or I'd have drifted out to sea. There was a metal box affixed to it, quite recently from all appearances. It looked like some sort of homing beacon. Nothing else to see about that. Some things once done cannot be undone.
You just keep your distance. I'm not your enemy. That's as may be, but I'm trusting no one. Did you discover anything? Perhaps I did, but I think I'll keep it to myself, if you don't mind. Quickly, someone! Miss Brent was screaming. It sounded like it came from the apiary. I'd better get moving. Those welts on her face, a horrible way to die. Will you gentlemen carry her back to her room? I don't feel quite myself. Six little sailor boys playing with a hive. A bumblebee stung one and then there were five. Another rhyme fulfilled. But why? Why? Surely you don't believe all that rot about her innocence. No, but she was rightfully afraid of bees. Why would she come out here of all places? Maybe Owen carried her. From the front patio? In broad daylight? How could he be certain no one would see? And it'll take both of us to carry her back. There is something no one's thought of. What if Owen has an accomplice? <laughs> 